All right, we're going to open up Samplitude here and click on Samplitude, open up a new project. Here's a new project screen from Samplitude. After you load in Samplitude, this is the screen that you will be see seeing once you click on the icon. And we go up and we're going to open a new file. We're going to open a new project within that file. And it asks for the name of the new project. We're going to call this project Tutorial Demo. And it asks where you want to put it. You create a Samplitude Projects file. You uh, go to that file, and uh, that's where all the projects are. Then you add, have this click to keep this project that you're working on separate from the rest. And come down, and the sample rate is 44.1. We're keeping all the uh, settings uh, at a default rate to keep things very simple because I want to get through this in the fastest way possible. We've got four tracks selected. That's also the default. 74 minutes is default. You can make this anything you want. You want 16 tracks, 32 tracks, 48 tracks. You can make it anything you want. I'm selecting four tracks. You can select any amount of minutes. 74 is default. So click OK. Brings you up to a four-track recording window. Each one of these is uh, one of the recording tracks. We're only going to be using two out of the four tracks here, so we're going to actually go over here to the right side, and we're going to make the track just big enough, the window so that it shows the two tracks. And I'll show you why we're going to be using those two tracks. Over here, you can control the volume of those tracks, the pan, and add effects to each one of the tracks that you like. Here is the recording button for recording. Pulling audio tracks and audio information into your project is simple. You go up here, and you can click on Load Import and select audio tracks from an SDHC card flash drive or uh, import audio tracks from a CD, a DVD, or you can use a um, import tracks through an interface and create your own project recording right into Samplitude. Um, I recorded we're going to be using uh, tracks that I recorded on the SDHC card. These are in 24-bit, and I'm going to select three tracks. This is from a singer-songwriter that I knew uh, some years ago. And we're going to bring in 17, 19, and 25. Now click OK. It's going to take those cards right off. They were recorded in 24-bit. Should I convert them? Yes, we're going to convert them into a 16-bit uh, 44.1. Load the first song. Load the second song. It's converting the 24-bit. Load the third song. Okay, now that we have all three songs loaded, uh, it's easy to arrange these. You can see they're separated. And all you do is you right-click on it. It highlights it like that. You can bra dra drag it down and then change the order. So let's say we want three to be number one. And then we want this. And then we'll put this one up here. Now, let's go and listen to what we've got. Now, to, to expand what we've got, we press uh, Control and the left arrow, and it opens it up. And then you can open it way up. And then by pressing the up and down keys, you can expand that so you can get very fine, detailed um, editing. Now, press the space bar to hear what we've got. Between two shores. All right, that's where we're at. Philly's fine, but it ain't home. New York's home, but it ain't mine no more. Okay, so now what we're going to do just for... Um, experimental we're going to um, just for demonstration purposes we're going to grab let's see where does he go into the chorus right here and 
Let's see, where does he end it? He ends it maybe yeah. right here. I am, I cry. Oh. Wait a minute. All no. Although. All no. Okay, so we're going to take the chorus and we can play it. And no. All right, it goes back to here. I am, I say. Okay, so we're going to take this section right here. We've highlighted it with the left mouse button. So we've selected this section. And what we want to do is go up here to edit, copy, and then highlight this second track down here. And then go up to edit and say paste. Okay, it copies that directly below that. So now we've got actually got a doubling of the chorus. So if we expand this thing out, we can see that it's in perfect line. Now what we want to do is we want to double the chorus. So we highlight the bottom, we move it a little bit forward in time to give it some pre-delay, then we press play. I have and we've got a really nice chorus going here. So that's one simple thing that you can do here. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could add uh, a, a number of effects to this chorus. If we go into effects and we go down to direct X, these all come standard with Samplitude 11 Pro. And if we wanted to do something like Express Sony Reverb, we go like this. We can play the section and add the reverb size. So let's say we want a large reverb, you can, and it's our on Rich Hall. It has lots of halls, but we'll use the Rich Hall. And so, I have and liveliness about 50%, you know and, then, and, then, and then mix about 50% here. And no one heard that all night, even the chair. Liveliness, gotta cut back on that. I am my cry. Okay, so that's double and with reverb. And, and then once it leaves this double section, it goes right back in all know. like that. Make my way back home. Now, once we close that out, you can see that it's added right here. Sony Express Reverb. Um... I got to keep moving along here because we're running out of time. But if you wanted to bring the volume down on that, you can bring it down so you can mix it the way you want with the main track. Um, let's see, here's the two songs. So, making my way back home. Okay, so let's see how the other one starts. All right, so if we open this thing up and there's the end of that, we can create uh, as much space as we want in here. Um, see, when I left click and stretch this, it shows how much time right here I'm opening it up. So there's one second, and most songs will move this out of the way. Take about two seconds. So here's about two seconds. So we, we do two seconds from here. Two seconds. There's two seconds. All right, then we just move this over. Now there's two seconds between songs. Then we left click, and we want to put a track number. Okay, let's... Let's go back to the beginning here, and we'll press home. It goes back, the, uh, the timeline cursor goes back to home, and we want to put a, an index mark right there. And the way we do that is we press Control-Alt-I, and it automatically set one at the beginning, 
and then we go over here we put the timeline cursor there and press control alt i that's track number two and then here we got to clean it up see so this is one Okay, one, two, three, four. So we open it up, pressing the left arrow button and control. There. Now, to no in order to make the split, to make the edit, you press T. Press T. You highlight the section that you don't want and you press delete. Then you take, right click on what you do want, bring it over, and once you highlight it, you'll see this little blue arrow right there, you can fade it in. So you can fade in and fade out with those arrows. And then you put two seconds, or whatever you want, move it over there, then left click and then press control alt i you've added another index number once you're done with that and uh come to the end okay we we fade it out okay so we grab that left right click fade it out Okay, we're all done with that, with the three-song demo. We, we put the timeline cursor at the end. We go up to um, CD, DVD, and we tell it to end. Set CD end index. Puts an end index right there. Bring it back like this. And there's the project. Um, that's a brief overview on what's, what this can do. It, it's a monster. It's as much as you want to get involved in. And then you go over here. You say save project as, tutorial demo, say OK. And you're, then to burn, to burn this to a CD, you, you go to CD DVD and make CD. And then it asks you if you want to burn this to a, a CD. And then, since I don't have a CD in here, it's asking me to put one in. And that's how you burn it. And you just keep saying yes, and it will burn. And that's, that's just about everything we've got here. Uh, this is the first short demo that I made. So uh, there'll be more coming. I'll show you more tricks with Samplitude 11 Pro. Thanks for watching.